Concepts of Self-Consciousness Concepts of Self-Consciousness is not limited to the mind. In fact, consciousness is totally separate from the brain. It only appears to be part of it. It is an illusion. As we know, consciousness is universal. In fact, there is research done by some, by Darwin himself, that the very humble earthworm uses its consciousness to affect its world around it and it create its food. So consciousness does not reside only in higher life forms or in the brains of said creatures. No, it is in every living thing. Uh, <coughs> plants, animals, birds, fish, etc., etc. As we know, we all live on a planet with integrated electromagnetic fields, uh, which <coughs> in everything is integrated into as the electromagnetic fields of all living things on the planet pulse out into the solar system, uh, interacting with other planetary systems, creating a universal consciousness and intelligence of the whole. We are living in a state of denial of the truth. We, we pull it, pull it, all that aurora energy of consciousness, we have a universal consciousness and intelligence, the God factor, which might rightly be called enlightenment, or for some, Christo, which resides in each of us, but is often hidden from us. So in life or in death are simply different states of the same consciousness, hidden from each other by a veil. So whatever state we are in, we are part of the same universal consciousness and intelligence. So you should be aware that if we alter the state of consciousness of one other living thing, we also alter our own consciousness as well. I dedicate all these thoughts to my son Jason, who is no longer with us, but has take, been taken from us by the t at the tender age of 19 and three quarter years. But <clears throat> I take strength from having known him. Our loved ones are not ours to keep or to hold close forever. No, they only walk at our sides for a time. The time is not ours to choose. We need to accept with grace the time that is given. We should also accept without anger or resentment when something or someone is taken from us. But to look how we can grow and find strength and wisdom in all situations that affect us negatively or positively. Take strength and heart from that.